Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to transfer your files and applications from your old computer to your new computer using a program called EasyOS to do PC Trans. So they have a free version and a pro version. So the free version only lets you do, I think, up to two gigabytes of data and up to five programs. And then if you want to try it out like we're going to do today and you like it, then you could buy the full version. I think it's around $50, $60. On that, you'll have the license to uh, do everything on your computer and then use it again if you need to. So once you download and install it, you have to have it on both computers. So we have, this is our source computer, the old one. And we have over here, this is our new computer that we're going to transfer to. And we have the app installed on both computers because that's what you got to do. So then we'll run it on the old computer here. And then you can see when you started up the free version, you know, five apps, uh, two gigs of data, and so on, then unlimited for the pro with license for two PCs. Then you have the technician license if you need to use it all the time for work or that kind of thing. So we'll just continue using pro here, or the free one. So now you have the PC to PC, so old to new, this is what we're going to do. And then you have backup and restore, so you could back up your uh, stuff to a backup file and then restore it on your new one. So maybe we'll do a video on that too. Then you have app migration, so if you want to, let's say you're running out of room and you have a bigger disk and you want to migrate your apps to a different disk, you could use that. Then it has data rescue. Uh, if you have a PC which failed to work properly and you still want to try and migrate your data to a new one, you could try that. Then there's some you know, tools for cleanup and large file cleanup and uh, manage your apps and so on. So we're going to go back to PC to PC. So we're going to click on start. So this is the old PC. Don't get confused. You know, so we're running this on the old one here. So it's searching for the other one. So it found it, and then it found the user logged in there. So click on connect. So it's doing a scan. So you can see here uh, under applications, you know, there's the free, and then there's the uh, pro apps that it'll do. So let's pick a five, one, two, out of the free, three, four, five. And then nothing unsupported. And then here's the existing apps. You know, come with Windows, you know, Edge and OneDrive and that kind of thing. So files, we could do, let's say, do your documents or pictures, desktop, downloads. So we got 1.19 gigs there, uh, 140 megabytes there for a total of 1.32 gigabytes. And then you have accounts, which you can migrate to. So uh, this one's already logged in on there, and this one, is not on the uh, new computer, so we'll migrate this one here. Okay, and then you could pick their information here. User account settings, user data, that kind of thing. Power options, screensaver, all that good stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on transfer here and see what happens. I actually have some settings here as well if you want to check this out. Um, so files and folders that you could filter. So if you don't want to do hidden files or do want to do hidden files or backup files or empty folders. And then if you have duplicates, replace, skip, or keep, and that kind of thing. So transfer. Okay, so it says it's transferring from old PC to Todd on the new PC, accounts, and it's waiting for applications. So we might have to uh, pause this or fast forward it. So we'll see how this goes here. Okay, so now accounts are transferred. Now it's transferring applications. 14% done. Okay, applications are done. Now we're doing files. Okay, so it says it's completed. So I actually fast forwarded uh, the video in between each segment. So it actually took a little longer than what you saw, but. Um, Still, it's pretty quick. Okay, so here's the uh, uh, log here. So create a restore point, transferred uh, Cindy's account, power, apps, files, and did it in two minutes and eight seconds. And so let's see uh, what we got here. So some applications may not work on the target PC. Manual fixing or reinstallation will be required. Let's click OK.
Okay, so now let's go over to the other computer and see what we got here. Okay, so we can see we got the uh, file transfer program copied over here. Let's see what else. 7-zip, the PC transfer, well, that's, that was installed. So the free file sync, Prime, WinISO. Let's just open it up and see what happens here. Okay, so it actually runs. Let's try another one. There you go, it runs, didn't even have to install it. Let's uh, check the uh, user accounts here. So we got Cindy's account here. Let's see if we have uh, some data here. Let's check uh, the users folder. So we got Todd, so here's Cindy. So if we, we don't have access to her, we could try logging in. So let's see what Todd has. Got some documents there. Didn't have anything on his desktop. Got his pictures. Downloads. Okay, so the stuff looks pretty good there. So one more thing here. Let's try logging in as Cindy and see what happens. Let me, call, let me just call, I'll leave those open. Okay, so we'll have to wait a second for this first time login. You, you know, when you set up a new account in Windows, you have to go through this little spiel here. Okay, let's just go through this typical stuff. I always turn these off anyways. Okay, so here's Cindy's account, and I even made a test document there. And I also put one in her documents before the transfer here. So let's see what happens if this opens. And there's that. Okay, so things look pretty good. So once again, you know, uh, download this free, uh, install it on both computers, then start the PC to PC, which is what we just did, and then... Like I said, we'll probably do another video on this app, Backup and Restore, just to see how this works in comparison in case the PC to PC doesn't work, and uh, take it from there. I'll put a link in the description for the free version. Like I said, if you like it and you want to use it, you'll probably have to buy the full version. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to uh, copy everything over, obviously, unless you have, just have a simple, you know, basic computer. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.